Hello guys, welcome back to just another video. Well, some few days ago, I did uh, upload a, pic a video concerning my single IGBT based on this circuit. This circuit is same as that of Tesla Star 555. This is one of the best circuits I've ever built. It's uh, like a minimalist having very few parts and once you've done it, it works pretty well. This is a circuit. Uh, what I've done, I've disconnected it now, but uh, I'm very happy with it. It uh, has been working very well. It uh, was connected with this secondary. This secondary has a resonant frequency of around uh, 260 kilohertz. I've used uh, coaxial cable for the primary and uh, it has around uh, 1000 ton. I use uh, magnet wire 0 0.15 millimeter. It's uh, 90 millimeter in diameter and uh, around uh, 160 millimeter in height. Uh, for those who want to build the same circuit, here is a picture. I hope uh, you're getting a good focus. You can do it. Build your own. I'm now going to put this aside. I'm done with it. It has worked very well. Now, what I'm going to show to you is my newly designed circuit that I've used to power this same coil. Here is the circuit. It is based on a half bridge using IRF 3205. This, as you know, RTO 220 package. This is the interrupter based on TL494 and uh, the power supply for the interrupter and this uh, series regulator voltage regulator 5 volt when you turn the potentiometer it gets around 2 volt here to power the IGBT to trigger the gate it is it sorts look like pretty <laughs> complicated but in fact it's pretty simple you have got only three parts the interrupter the power supply for the interrupter and the ZVS part uh, let me put it in landscape for those who want to have a better view to build it those who want to do same hope you are getting a good focus guys sorry about my phone <laughs> it's turning old now now let's put aside this circuit and uh, let's turn off the light i power my Viriac around 42 volts switch off this table lamp now let's check the output sparks getting around 15 to 20 centimeter sparks output it's awesome and it is working really great I can push it up to 48 volts but I'm happy as it is
at times this primary coil gets too close and it gets sparks I must be very careful so you have seen the new schematic there it is again and uh, it is working pretty damn good with this coil this is the same previous coil I've used for my single IGBT based that circuit here is that circuit I put it aside and built this new one and put it inside that CPU power supply box so guys hope you've enjoyed the video see you for another video bye cheers take care